Hi everyone, this is Prompt Review. I'm here to just do a quick video on how to remember Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever and Lyme's disease. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. And uh, I want you to know that Prompt Review is here to help you to pass your MP board. So Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, as the name implies, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. Your R, I use it to remember the tick bite, you know. Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is caused by a tick bite. So what is the name of the tick? The name of the tick for me represents the R, which is Riketesia Riketesia. So another word you will see is M, mountain M. I use the M to remember the maculopapula rash. So after this patient have the tick bite, this rash, this maculopapula rash will appear two, two to six days and patient will have an onset of fever. Then spotted S, use it to remember southern part is more common with Southeast or Central US. So you will hear a patient coming down from Southern part. So that is your Rocky Mountain spotted S for Southern part. Then F, I use it to remember F flu-like symptoms. This patient will have flu-like symptoms like fever, headache, chills, and conjunctival injection. Also, remember to make a diagnosis, they can do PCR or rickettsic antigen or punch biopsy. The treatment is usually doxycycline, both for adults and for children. And also remember that they can remove the tick by grasping closest to the skin and apply steady upward pressure. Then for Erythema migraine Lyme disease, remember that this starts with a red rash. You can see that a red rash. With that red rash, there is another step, central clearing. After central clearing, then you have a bull's eye lesion. So this is also caused by a tick bite. But what is the name of this tick bite? That is your Burella bugadofera. Remember, for Rocky Mountain, the name of the tick bite is Riketesia Riketesia. And for Lyme's disease, it starts like red rash, central clearing, bull's eye lesion. But for Rocky Mountain, this patient will have a maculopapular rash. It will start at the hand, at the leg, and it can also spread to the trunk. It starts at the hand, the leg, or the soles of the feet, then it can spread to the trunk. Then erythema migraine also have flu-like symptoms, okay? But this, another difference is that this patient is, is more common with people coming down from the Northeast, Northern part why Rocky Mountain is usually common with people coming down from the southern part. Erythema migraine also, you need to monitor some Bell's palsy and also the treatment is usually doxycycline. But if patient is less than seven years, you can give them amoxicillin. But in Rocky Mountain, both children and adults get Dr. Cycling. So that is the difference too. So remember in summary, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, the tick bite is what? R, Riketesia, Riketesia. Why the tick bite in Erythema migra is Burela bugadofera. Then for Rocky Mountain, the rash, which is the maculopapular rash, it starts at the soles, the palms, and it can spread to the trunk. Why erythema migra? 
it starts with a red rash, it goes to the central clearing, then it goes to bull's eye lesion. Both of them have flu-like symptoms, okay? But for erythema migraine, you have to be worried or concerned about development of, of Bell's palsy. Rocky Mountain is more common with the southern part, while Lyme disease is more common with the northern part. Rocky Mountain is usually, the treatment is usually doxy, both for children and for adults. But for erythema migraine, the adults will get doxycycline while the children get amoxicillin. So thank you so much. I hope this will help. Thank you.